What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to start the video with a little bit of a story because it's a pretty special day for me. Mm. The story goes back to when I was about 11 years old, I think something like that. I was in Los Angeles, my father grew up in America, he grew up in LA, and one of his childhood friends from over there invited us once to a lunch. Now this is all gonna make sense when you see what we're doing today. A childhood friend of my dad's invited him to lunch at a golf club somewhere. And as we arrive outside this restaurant, there's this beautiful black and gold Mustang right outside. I already had the, the car bug, I loved cars. We go into the restaurant and a few tables across from where we are, there's Carol Shelby, the absolute legend. I'm sure all of you know Carol Shelby, no introduction needed. And he kind of knew this person that had invited us to lunch. So I get invited over just to say hello to him. I go up, shake his hand. He was so nice. We spoke a little bit about his, his Mustang and just such kind of a special experience meeting Carol Shelby. A few months later, I get a message from this, from this friend of ours saying, listen, write a small note for Carol and I'll get it signed by him. So I wrote a note about how I loved cars, how I wished one day I could live off cars uh, and my passion for cars just as he did. Sent the note back, so kind, signing it, you know, saying basically, I believe you'll get there, Sebastian. And it was just a huge motivator for me. You know, I think about a year later, I started my YouTube channel, and today I'm lucky enough to be able to live off of that passion of cars. So today is relevant because I am now going to be driving this AC Cobra. kindly been lent to me by Bootsen Classic. Now we're going to give you a full walk around this car and I'm going to be able to drive it. Now it is a recreation, I think is the right word for this car. A continuation, not a recreation, sorry, a continuation of uh, an AC Cobra, but is just one of the most beautiful pieces of machinery that I've ever set eyes on. So Cedric is here with me and uh, we're going to have a little walk around this before I drive it. This is obviously, going, hello, hello, welcome to the hello, channel, hello. welcome to the video. Thank you very much. This is going to be a special one for me because it's completely different to a lot of the other cars that we're used to filming. Yeah. But, you know, I hope the people watching the channel also, you know, have, have the, the love of cars and love these kind of classics as well. Um, so yeah, tell, tell me about this beast. Okay, yeah, so as you were saying, this is a continuation. So yes. it's a car based off of the model of 1965. Yeah. It was actually built in 2014. Yeah. But let's say 95% of this car is built to spec of the exact same way that Shelby American built it in 1965. It's actually built by Shelby American in Las Vegas, Nevada. That is so cool. Yeah. So it's got the seal of approval, the exactly. stamp of approval. Exactly. Okay. So and that's why it's a continuation, because there's a difference between recreation and continuation, absolutely. right? Yeah. So is the Shelby Cobra is the number one replicated car in the world. Okay, yeah. Simply put. Yeah. And Shelby, he just thought to himself, I'm tired of seeing these replicas everywhere. Yeah. Let's make, since there's so much demand, let's keep on making these cars today, but with the actual specs of before. Mm -hmm. And so he put his stamp on it and, set, and called these cars continuations. But they have the correct Shelby chassis numbers, you know, the, the world famous CSX. Yeah. I mean, the car in itself is, looks yeah, exactly it's beautiful. as it should be. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it sounds like the original oh my god it's and it's got i mean it's got some poke under the hood can we open it up Absolutely. to see i'll go on this side you take this side okay yeah this is just so cool you just switch it inwards inwards yep yep you got it yeah oh all the way inwards all the way. okay got you okay. yeah and here we go wow Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so we've got over 400 horsepower right here. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a 5.4 liter V8 engine. Yeah. Uh, let's call it 0 to 100 in plus or minus 6 seconds. So imagine for the 1960s, this is unheard of almost yeah. before. Yeah. Um, as you can see here, you have the official CSX 8 AT50 uh, chassis number. Wow. Which is really important to have, of course. Uh, uh, it's a beauty. It goes up to about 230, 240 kilometers an hour. Which I can imagine, A, back in the day was insane, exactly. but B, it must be pretty terrifying in this thing with, with, with just this little windscreen in front of you. Exactly. The noise it must be making, exactly. 230 is nuts. Because they're known to be a little bit slippery around the rear end, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, sometimes, I mean, here we have the official race Avon tires. So okay. we're pretty safe and secure. 
But of course, when they're cold, you know, it's it can can tend to be a little bit of a of a Bambi. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. It's, it's, it's so cool. Yeah, the interior is impeccable as well. Yeah. So we've got these doors which open like so, and then you come inside and it's got this red leather, and it is immaculate. This car is for sale. Yep. So you guys, I'll put the links down below so that anyone who's interested can have a look at this car, and hopefully one of you will end up having this in your garage because it is a piece of art, honestly. Uh, with the steering wheel like this, the thin wooden steering wheel, the red leather interior, it is just gorgeous. And it is, yeah, I mean, just it's, it's basically original. I mean, it's exactly like they were. Yeah, and yeah. Um, it doesn't get kind of uh, uh, more to the point than this. No. It is beautiful. And, and the spec is classy, isn't it? Yeah, no, this, it's a 289, so it's the street version, slap side, as they call it. Yeah. There's the 427 that came after here with, you know, the aluminium here. It's very, the arch in the back and, yeah. and the bigger motor as well. That car is very, it looks very aggressive. It's very nice too. I, I love it as well. Yeah. But this for me is the epitome of, of class. You yeah. Know, it's yeah. pure class. And of course, inside the, the animal of an engine, it's, it's, it's just wonderful to drive. It's so cool. How did you end up having this and being able to offer this so car? So we're, we're very lucky, actually. We're the official Shelby ambassadors for this region of the world. Okay. Uh, we work in partnership with a company called Gentleman Car. It's yeah. based in Belgium. And they are the official importers of Shelby American in Europe. So we have this chance to, to work with them. They, they very kindly supply us with a car. And uh, we've been using this one as a demo car. It's, as you said, it's for sale. <laughs> Not bad for a demo no, car, right? No, <laughs> definitely, it's great. Uh, we've, been, we've been using this car. Um, of course, it's, everyone turns their head, you know, all the time. It's unreal. It, it, it's beautiful. And yeah, as you said, this one's for sale. Uh, there are others like it that can be built exactly to your requirements. There's a lot of different options available. And I mean, it takes about one year to okay. get your custom made one yeah. arrive to you fully, fully done. Very cool. Very cool. So yeah, you can spec it and you're basically, it's like, it's like a, having a time capsule, being able to go exactly. back in time and spec your AC, your Cobra. Better. So cool. Okay. Well, all I want to do now is I want to get in and drive it. Let's so do it. Hop in. Hey, hey, Alright, here we go. Let's go. Uh, this is special. Oh, you can feel <laughs> that the car's a bit cold now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, wow. She's quite quick to warm up, to be honest. Yeah. It's it's a feeling like no other. This this muscle. This car. is unbelievable. I hope they can hear us because we'll see. Uh, thank you. We'll see uh, with all the wind and the sound yeah. of the engine that V8 sound. Unreal. Nah, it's it's something from another world to be honest. Of I can't. The, the, the current V12s and the V10s. They're, they're nice as well, yeah. but. Or you hear an atmospheric V10 like sound yeah. on the old Gallardo, for example. Yeah, that's yeah. Something special. Yeah, that's true. But that's this, true. This, to be honest with you. Oh, this is the holy grail yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Like, this is insane. And for me, like, I can't thank you enough because these are the roads where I grew up. Like, I remember coming to play tennis here when I was a yeah. kid. And then now being here in a, in a Cobra, which was built <laughs> at Shelby is so cool. And it's, it's usable. Like, the clutch isn't too hard. You never know with these older cars. No. What's it going to be like? The brake pedal. There's quite a lot of distance to the brake pedal. Exactly. Um, but to be honest, it's pretty <laughs> usable is the wrong word, but it's not as hard to get used to as you would maybe no. anticipate. I'd say, I'd say this car is, is I mean, for, for any passionate person, this car is your ideal daily driver. Yeah. <laughs> except, yeah. except for the fuel consumption. Oh yeah, is it really bad? Yeah, it's quite, it's, it's quite it, it consumes a lot. It consumes a lot. Oh, of I can imagine. I mean, we started this day off full tank we're already yeah. a bit less than three quarters which is okay yeah yeah i suspect that by the end of the day we'll be at less than empty half. Or, or less than yeah, half yeah less than half. yeah let me listen to this oh oh, oh, it's, it's, oh it's so cool it's a car that procures you emotions yeah. that for me very very few, few cars, cars do yeah really it's just so beautiful and it's it's pretty small yeah it's so you get this a lot with older cars. You forget how how much bigger cars have gotten over the years. Um, so this, yeah, it feels 
feels pretty reasonably sized. It feels quite long, but quite uh, quite narrow. I'm thinking of the SF90 that you just recently mm. tested. That's big. That's huge. It's very wide as well. Yeah, it's yeah. completely different from something like this. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and just the idle noise, the bo -bo 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 -bo. it's so like American and having that Cobra logo right in front of you. Yeah. Obviously you can see everything around you. The, the mirrors are like pretty hard to see out of. <laughs> That's um, why you have the central one, which... Yeah, you, you have the central right one, which is what you kind of rely on. Exactly. But it's so cool. And people look at you like in, in a good way, you know, with modern supercars, often they'll look at you. Um, oh yeah, there's the indicators, which are quite something. Yeah, with modern supercars, you were saying, it's, it's, it's a different kind of look. People yeah. Have, they look like, at you a bit like, oh, you're just trying to show off, you know. With this, they're like, that's cool. Yeah, you know? exactly. Oh. How can you not think this is cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, the indicator takes some getting used to. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, the steering wheel, the wooden steering wheel between your hands, so thin yeah. and completely unfiltered. Yeah. Like I can feel everything that's happening with the front tires, which is good because the rear tires are often moving around, I've yeah. heard. Yeah, of course you don't have the assisted direction and yeah. all these kind of little things that cars have nowadays. Yeah, but yeah, it exactly. It only brings more into the feeling of the car. Yeah. Really. It brings more emotion. It's so weird to think that this car was built in 2014 because it really is like a time capsule. Yeah, absolutely. It really just feels like something out of the 60s. It's, it's, it's so know, they cool. Use, they use all the components and everything from the 60s. So yeah. Technically, it's as if it was built then. Except yeah. Sure, today you have some of the components. Yeah, time. which are a bit better, yeah. Exactly. But in all and for all, it's, 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 it's the yeah. same car. It's exactly the same car. Wow. You are a lucky man to be able to drive this. Yeah, I, it I, is I so cool. I consider myself very, very, yeah. let's say privileged. Yeah. It's an absolute privilege to be able to drive this car. And whoever ends up buying this is going to be a very lucky person. Absolutely. The noise. <laughs> and 400 horsepower. It's a lot for 950 kilos. Exactly. The acceleration on this car is really yeah. It's, it's pretty nuts. Back. Actually, just to give you a little anecdote, uh, yeah. Carol Shelby. Yeah. When he used to do some test drive with his clients, he used to put a hundred dollar bill right on the windshield, and uh, he would tell them, "Listen, if you're able to grab the hundred dollar bill with your arm, it's you can yours. keep it." And what would he do? He'd just keep it in first or second and push the car. Yeah. With this acceleration, I've, what I've heard is that nobody ever succeeded to grab the... The hundred dollar bill. bill. It's something so Carol Shelby. It's, yeah, it's you don't get many stories like that anymore. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Well, and the, the gearbox is actually pretty, you know, it's that short throw kind of classic feel. Yeah. But it, as I say, it's not too hard to get used to. Here we'll be able to hear the car a little bit. God, and you're not even going that fast. No, exactly. But We're there's at what, 50, 60 miles an hour. Yeah, and but there's so much emotion yeah. no, that you don't need to go far. Ah, oh, this is this is a dream come true. <laughs> Honestly, for me, that kid like 13 years ago, or whatever, meeting Carol Shelby. If I could see this now. Wow! 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 What an experience. If Shelby intended anything for you when he said you're going to make it, <laughs> I think this is it. Right this is now. it. This is maybe what he had in mind. I mean, Absolutely. I can't think of anything better. This is so cool. It's one of those that you just kind of want to take it in. Unreal. It's a, it's a feeling that very few cars can prepare. Yeah. No, and thank you so much. Thank you, you know, Boots and Classic Cars. Yeah, I mean, if ever there are, you know, if you enjoy this video and you want to see more videos of this, I can see the camera shaking like crazy. I hope it's not going to be too shaky, the video. I can hold stable. Yeah, uh, we'll see. I mean, it's one of those cars which is great to drive but not easy to film with. But um, yeah, if you guys want more videos of this type, let us know because you've got plenty more things we can yeah, film. We have, we have plenty of cars, plenty of classics that we can, uh, we can have some few joy rides in. Uh, I'm, I'd be so keen. Which for the viewers, I'm sure would take a good look. 
Oh yeah, oh, I'm sure they would love it. Because I I would love it. <laughs> I can tell you, I hope you guys comment. Please comment a lot saying you want more of these because I want more of these. <laughs> ah, so cool, so, so cool. Unfortunately, all good things do have to come to an end though. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna have to turn around here. The good news is I've now got two YouTube channels. So, there we go. So I need to go back up to do the French one. You know, someone's oh, got to do it. What a shame. What a shame. Poor, poor son. Yeah. <laughs> no, awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. I mean, I don't know if you guys could hear anything, see anything with the car shaking so much, but that was a once in a lifetime kind of opportunity. It's so. a pleasure to be able to so, see So, no, awesome. And guys, you know, the best way we can thank is by going to the links down below, checking out the Instagram, checking out the, you know, the cars. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with plenty more very soon. So thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers.